What is up, guys? Okay, we're back in the pink room. Yay, I'm excited. Um, the last video I did in here had a very different tone to it, and I definitely don't want to contradict the type of person that I am. But to be honest, I'm kind of sick of like saying, I'm kind, I'm kind, I'm kind, I'm kind. Nobody gives a shit or believes me anyways. So I think over time, you're just gonna find out and see that I am kind, I am loyal. I, I can be blunt and aggressive and real, but at the end of the day, like I have good intentions. So like I'm done trying to play like the, the, the kind card because people stay talking shit about me regardless. How do I set the tone? First of all, what's up? It's Vic Vasquez. I'm back in full force. And I think this is gonna be the realest I ever get on my channel. I get myself into a lot of shit. And when I get myself into shit, um, people question my character and I never get to fully vent about my side. And I'm sick of people feeling the way that they feel about me. Um, without having all the details. I was like, what story can I tell? Like, I hate to like bring up old shit because I'm not in a bad place with these people. Cause they're honestly, at this point, they're kind of an irrelevant in my life. I feel like this is a good story because it's a good example of people starting shit with me for absolutely no fucking reason. And let me say one thing. I came to eat today and leave no crumbs because I came with the receipts, the video receipts. Let's start by saying I'm friends with a lot of different people, a lot of different groups, but I do have a group of friends in particular that it's like one of those groups that like you're all friends, but you're not all like best friends. Like you don't like text these people on the daily. You don't hang out with them on the reg, but like y'all all get invited to like the same shit. It's one of those groups. Okay. There's a person in this group. Yeah, I wouldn't say we're good friends. We are around each other often. To be completely honest, they get on my nerves. I don't know, they have, to me, they walk around with like some sense of entitlement. And I don't know why people like to start shit with me. I don't know if it's because I'm an easy target. I don't know if it's because people know that I'll have a reaction. There's a fly flying around. So if you guys hear a fly, my bad. Um, anyways, there's a guy in our group. He dated a girl that was also in the group for a number of years, maybe three or four years. They broke up. He started immediately, immediately, <laughs> literally like I don't even think like a week went by, just my thoughts. Um, and he started dating another girl, started bringing her into the group. I didn't have an issue with the new girl. Like I really didn't, like she seemed like a nice girl. That's just some context of like who these people are. Fast forward several months, like they've been dating, they've been dating, they've been dating, they've been dating. Okay, like old girl's completely like out of the picture. New girl is like 100% girlfriend, they're together, like that's a, that's a thing. <laughs> New girlfriend, should I give these people names? Would that help? Okay, so, so new girlfriend's name is gonna be Miranda. Boyfriend's name is going to be Charles. Charles and Miranda. Charles and Miranda are dating, okay? And um, <laughs> Miranda posts a photo on Instagram. Just this photo of, of them, a couple. They look amazing, like it's a, it's a good picture. But the caption says, mom and dad. Okay, so the caption says mom and dad. I'm, I'm very engaging on social media. Like I respond to people's stuff. Like I comment, I like, like whatever. So I commented and I said, are you prego? Laughing emoji face. Be because the caption was mom and dad. Apparently, that was a huge fucking mistake on my part. Like I, like, started some huge ass drama because I left a comment on a picture saying, are you prego question mark with a caption that said mom and dad, because I didn't understand like the context of the caption. And like when people post pictures and there's like a caption, like you want to like try and understand like what the caption means. So I was like, mom and dad, mom and dad, mom and dad, mom and dad. Like, 
And so I was like, oh, are you Brego? Like, I'm gonna ask, like, it's a comment. I don't think it's an offensive comment. I don't think it's, like, I didn't think in my mind for one second, like, I'm starting shit. Like, I just didn't think that. And maybe that's part of my issue is I need to, like, think longer and harder before I do things. But it's like, I mean, I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. Little did I know that that comment was going to start some shit, but I ended up getting a text message from Charles. Charles texted me. He felt the need to text me. Geez, Victoria, relax. Not ready for all that yet. So I'm like, ha ha ha, like, he's just, he's just, like messing with me. He's like, geez, Victoria, relax. Not ready. I'm not ready to be a parent. I'm just thinking that he's like saying that. And so I responded and I said, the caption was mom and dad. I posted that same caption. I did. I posted that same caption, mom and dad, on a picture of me and Lucas before anybody knew we were pregnant. That's another reason why I said, are you prego? Because like I did the same caption on one of my photos, like a couple years ago saying mom and dad. Okay, like you get it. I said, I posted that same caption on a picture of me and Lucas before anyone knew I was pregnant, LOL. So this is Charles' response. LOL, yeah, I feels, but she was referring to us being mom and dad and taking care of our friends cause she never gets drunk, not a big drinker and I'm always no man left behind. Okay, so he gave me an explanation, a little bit of context of why she said mom and dad, like, okay, cool, like that's dope. I get it now, I, I get it. Like, so y'all answer my question. No, she's not pregnant. My response, LOL, okay, daddy-o, that's it. I mean, if I read that response, like the conversation's over, like I didn't come back with more of a response, like there's nothing else to say about it. Got it, cool, she's not pregnant, goodbye. And he goes, right, dot, dot, dot. I don't really know what that means in response to my comment, but in response to my response, but then he goes, anywho, it came across calling her fat. So let me get this straight. She posted a picture saying mom and dad, I said, are you prego? And she thought in her I don't know, 26 year old brain, like she's got to be in her mid twenties. Are you prego? Are you prego? Are you prego? Oh my God. Does she think I look fat? Think, like think a little bit harder. Like I feel like a 12 year old could have figured out that the reason why somebody would comment, are you prego on a picture when your caption says mom and dad is because you put a caption that says mom and dad, mom and dad mean having kids. They don't have kids yet. I No, she, this is the thought process she should have gone through. <laughs> she said, are you Brego? <laughs> oh, it must be because I said mom and dad. She thinks that I body shamed her, which like I said, this guy is in my friend group, okay? He's known me for 10 years. I don't think he's ever known me to body shame anyone. Has he known me for being dramatic? Yes. Has he known me for being explosive? Yes. But I would think that if this friend has known me for over 10 years, he would tell his new girl that's been in the, this group for less than six months. No, it, that's, the, that's the thing, like it's two people. It's two people that should have a thought process when thinking things through. So she, so I'll let, I'll, I'll let her slide. She thinks she's calling me fat. She goes to Charles. Charles, I think this girl is calling me fat. It, it comes across that she's calling me fat even though the caption is mom and dad. And she said, are you prego? It comes across that she's calling me fat because I, do I look fat? He should have been like, babe, no, absolutely not. First of all, I know this girl, never known her to body shame anybody. Um, but your caption is mom and dad, mom and dad. So like, I'm pretty sure she's saying like, are you prego? Because the caption's mom and dad. No, don't sweat it. Like, She's not trying to be malicious, like, and like talk 
your girl through that, bro. Like if she has insecurities or she thinks some shit about some people that I've never body shamed anybody. Like you know me for over 10 years. Have your girls back, but have her back by like hyping her up and saying, no, there's no way. Like they know because you don't look fat in this picture at all. Like there's no reason why she would say you look fat besides the fact that you put mom and dad. Anywho, it came across calling her fat. I know that it was your reality when you posted that, but it's not our case. All right, so obviously I was like, oh my God, like th this is some bullshit. This is, this is, this is some bullshit. But since I'm mature, I responded and I said, Oh my God, I wasn't thinking that for one second. It just related to the caption completely. Make sure to relay this convo to her. I would never body shame someone. Also, she's not fat, LOL. Like she has a billion times more athletic bones in her body than I will ever have in this lifetime. I apologized for it coming across that way, even though I have no fucking clue how it came across that way. It's clear they were having some conversation about it and she wasn't happy and she was offended. So, um, he goes, yeah, I know, but think about it. When you ask people if they're prego and they aren't, what are you insinuating? LOL. Well, yeah, if I would have just asked out of the fucking blue, are you prego on a picture that was posted with no caption? Yeah, that would make sense. But when the caption's mom and dad, so at this point, I'm just thinking like, okay, I'm dealing with some dumb asses right now. Like I'm, like I'm, I'm dealing with like some people that don't know how to like put their thinking caps on and like think things through. Dude, I could have sworn the caption was mom and dad, but like whatever. Just be mindful next time. She's not tripping. Bro, she's clearly tripping if you're taking time out of your day to fucking text me some bullshit. Get your girl, put your thinking cap on. Be smart. Don't text me for no fucking reason about some dumb bullshit. She's not tripping. Uh, but she simply asked me why your first thought was that. I don't know anymore. Why, why was that my first thought? Uh, Y'all answer for me. Why was that my first thought? Why was that my first thought? It couldn't be because of the caption. It couldn't be because the caption was mom and dad. It clearly couldn't have been because the caption was mom and dad. It had to be because she, me, I was insinuating that she was fat. It had to be because of that. Going on, my response. Well, even though it wasn't intentional, I'm sorry I commented that and made her feel that way. She's beautiful. We all do things without thinking sometimes. This is where it gets, cause at that point when he said that, like she's not tripping, you're insinuating that she's fat when you leave a comment like that. I was kind of just like, bro, come on. Like, this is dumb as hell. Like you are dumb as hell. So I was like, so this is what I said. I said, we all do things without thinking sometimes. Like the time. This goes into a different story, so I hope you guys can keep up. Just listen. Like the time she was invited to my house and she thought it was a good idea to include me in a Snapchat I didn't know was being recorded saying to take my twerking to the streets. I didn't text or reach out to anyone when that happened because honestly, who cares? But this is just a reminder that we can all think before we do things. It's not just me that makes mistakes in this world. We all do and we all will as long as we learn from it. Gotta love a loyal man fending for his woman. Heart. So let me, let me get into this really quick. The, um, the, 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 um, the video that was taken at my house where I invited them to. Um, so we have get togethers regularly at, at my house and uh, 
they were invited because they are in our friend group and we invited them. We invite everybody usually. Like we don't have an issue with anybody. Like we just, we're, we're friends with so many different people. Anyways, we invited them. They came over to my house. People are drinking, obviously, like we're in our twenties. Like my kid is, I don't remember if he was asleep or if he was being babysat. He wasn't there. I was doing my own thing. I was drinking, um, probably a little tipsy um, in my home wasn't drinking and driving like I was in my home and me and my girlfriends were twerking on my countertop well I, actually I was on my countertop somebody else was on my couch somebody was on the edge of my couch like twerking like we were having a good time like we were letting loose it's my house like my friends when I invite them to my house like this is a safe place like you can twerk <laughs> there's no there I don't have anything against twerking like I want people to have a good time like that's why I have get-togethers Anyways, she, Miranda, the girl that's pissed off about me commenting, are you prego, on a picture that the caption was mom and dad. She, a, a couple months prior to this whole incident, took a Snapchat while me and two of my friends were twerking. And the caption in her Snapchat read, Either you leave it in the bedroom or you take it to the streets. She included me, a person who invited her into my home for the first time ever, by the way. It's the first time she ever came to my home. She included me in a Snapchat of me and two of my friends twerking without our consent, without, you know, our backs are to the camera. We can't see that she's recording. And she put the caption, either you leave it in the bedroom or you take it to the streets. Now, I don't know about you guys, but um, this is bad intentions. This is what bad intentions look like. This is what a mean girl looks like. This is what starting shit looks like. Y'all know I said I had the video receipts. I'm gonna plug that video in right here. Just watch the video. <laughs> Don't come at me with some bullshit saying you think I'm calling you fat when you posted a dumbass caption. Sorry, you guys have been together for six months. Like you're not mom and dad. Like you're fucking brand new into your relationship. Like I don't give a shit. That's what being a mean girl looks like is coming into somebody's home where they've invited you and posting a video without their consent of them twerking in their own home, making them look like a hoe and saying, take it to the streets or leave it in the bedroom, bitch. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Obviously now, I mean, I know I'm acting salty about it right, right now, but it's because I'm getting back into the story of it, but I never voiced my saltiness ever because like, I was like, no, I don't want to get into drama. <laughs> the queen of drama. But I chose to keep my mouth shut when she came into my home and took this video without my consent behind my back and posted it with a mean ass fucking caption. I chose to keep my mouth shut. There's a fly flying around me. Jesus Christ. Anyways, that was the conversation. That was the story. That was the bullshit. I, it's a short story, but it's one that really bothered me. And just like, I'm trying to prove to you guys that like at the time, like, no, I didn't start shit. When she posted that video, I didn't start shit. When he texted me, I didn't start shit. I'm not a shit starter. I tell it like it is. I'm real. So right now I'm coming to just show you guys that people like to start shit with me. They think it's fun. They get enjoyment out of hurting my feelings, calling me sensitive and explosive. Like they don't know about my life. They don't know what I've been through. They don't know what kind of person I am clearly like, it's annoying and I, like, I'm sick of it. So I'm excited to post this video and kind of just like show a story where I honestly think I was the victim. I'm playing the victim card right now. Like that's my tea. That is my tea. I would like to know y'all's opinion. Like do you, 
do you agree with my thoughts about the situation? Do you think they were kind of dumb for texting me about this comment I left on a picture where the caption was mom? Like, what do y'all think? I would like to know. So drop your comments below. Let Just give your feedback. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm right. Hope you enjoyed this. It's a quick little story. I'm gonna keep telling stories. I'm gonna keep defending my character. I'm gonna keep, you know, showing you guys the person that I am. And I'm gonna try and keep these stories like fun and entertaining. And yeah, I just like wanna have a good time. Reminder to be kind. <laughs> have a nice day. Subscribe. Turn uh, the post notifications on by clicking the bell if you wanna be notified when I tell some stories. And yeah, bye.